Have you ever been hesitant to testify about how your life was touched and transformed by the gospel of the Lord Jesus? You know, in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, uh, Paul writes and he says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. So the Apostle Paul declares that he is ready to preach the gospel. In the previous verse, he says he's ready to preach the gospel to those who are in Rome. And then he's, he makes this um, declaration or statement that he's, he is not in any way ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And, and the reason is this, that he says that it is the power of God for salvation. Paul, when he was known as Saul, he was a very zealous Jew. He was persecuting the church and that was, his own, that was his only agenda. He was persecuting what was called the way and uh, he would throw believers into prison. He would find out the people who were, who were worshipping the Lord Jesus and he would attack them and persecute the church. So, um, so he, the Bible says that he actually created havoc among the churches. He created havoc in the church. Then on the way, on the road to this place called Damascus, something happened. He had an encounter with the Lord Jesus. He had a life-changing encounter with the Lord Jesus and that changed his entire life. That changed his destiny. That changed his agenda. So he went on from, um, from persecuting this, this way to preaching about salvation. Uh, he was born again. He had, he experienced the power of God. He experienced the love of God. And uh, the Bible says that he was baptized with the Holy Spirit. He was empowered by God and he could not but share the gospel. He could not but share about these truths which he was opposing vehemently just a few days earlier. So he went about preaching. So that's the power of the gospel. When a person chooses to believe in the Lord Jesus, completely changes, completely alters the life of a person and transforms that person from the inside out. So the gospel is the power of God for salvation and the word used there is dunamis, uh, which means miraculous power, strength or force or ability. So this simple gospel, um, you know, we might think, you know, can, it, can this simple gospel of the fact that the Lord Jesus came to the earth, he lived a sinless life, he carried my sin on the cross, he died, he was buried, and he rose again on the third day to remove my sin. You know, if I choose to believe in this, can anything happen in my life? You know, the Bible declares that this simple gospel is the power of God, is the dunamis of God, is the force, the ability of God to, to break the power of sin to bring salvation into our lives. Forgiveness, healing, deliverance, wholeness, uh, peace, health and safety. This is the power of God to bring salvation into our lives. So it takes the power of God. We need to understand that sin cannot be wished away. Sin cannot be reformed. Sin cannot be you know, a, a, a resolution that we take, a decision that we take, and it cannot be just changed. It takes the power of God to break the power of sin. So we also, you know, we can declare along with Paul, we can agree and say, I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus, for this gospel is the power of God to save lives, to change destinies. So wherever we are, wherever God has placed us, the realms of influence that we are, we don't have to be ashamed of this simple gospel. We can testify of how this gospel has changed us. And we will be spectators, we will be witnesses to see how this gospel can change others' lives as well. So let's pray. Father God, we thank you for the power of the gospel. We thank you that the gospel, is, it is your power to break the power of sin. And we thank you that it is only the gospel that can bring salvation. That it is only our belief in the Lord Jesus that can change us. And Father, I pray that we will never be ashamed of this fact. We will never be ashamed of this truth. So wherever we are, whatever situation that we might find ourselves in, or the situations that you divinely orchestrate, may we be spokespersons of the gospel. May we triumphantly and joyfully, boldly testify 
of what the gospel has done for us, what you have done for us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.